Okay, so welcome to my video on negative numbers. And I'm guessing that if you're watching this video, that you're probably already familiar with positive numbers and where positive numbers go on this number line. And if you don't know, all positive numbers go to the right of the number zero. So if we start to the right of the number zero, we can start with the positive number one, positive number two, and this goes on for as far as you would like. I'm going to stop at the number six, but all positive numbers go to the right of zero. And negative numbers, you can probably figure this out, go to the left of the number zero. So starting to the left of zero, we start with negative one, negative two, negative three, and you can go as far as you would like, and I'm going to stop at negative six. So all negative numbers go to the left of zero. And you could probably figure out that, that the farther right you go on the number line, uh, the larger the number. Uh, so let's take a look at, at the number uh, six and the number two. Okay, six is obviously larger than two. Six is larger than two. Uh, that's because six is farther to the right. The more right you go, the larger the number. Uh, so let's take a look at the number negative six and negative two. The farther left you go, the smaller the number. So since negative six is farther to the left than negative two, and negative six is smaller or less than negative two. Negative six is less than negative two. The farther left you go on the number line, the smaller the number. So it's an important idea uh, to remember or to know uh, before we get started with adding um, and subtracting negative numbers. So having said that, let's get started right away on some examples. So let's start off with an easy example. Let's say we have positive two minus four. Positive two minus four. So we're starting with a number positive two, and I'm gonna circle in black where we're starting, and notice how we are subtracting four. If we subtract, that means we need to go to the left. So we need to go to the left four units. So if we count one, two, three, four, we finish at negative two, and I'll circle that in red. So two minus four is equal to negative two. That's our final answer. Let's go over another example. So let's say we have negative two plus a negative four. And the first thing I want to point out is notice how we have a plus sign and we have a minus sign right next to each other. We have plus a negative four. A positive and a negative are the same thing as a minus sign. So that's something you need to remember. A positive and a negative together are the same thing as a minus sign. So you could say negative two minus four instead of plus negative four. It's the same thing. Negative two minus four is the same as plus negative four. Okay, so we're, so we're starting at negative two. So I'll circle where we start in black and we are subtracting four. So that means we're going to the left four units. So if we count one, two, three, four, we finish at negative six. So negative two minus four is equal to negative six. Or you could say negative two plus negative four is also equal to negative six. So let's go over another example. So let's say that we have negative two minus a negative four. So the first thing I want to point out is notice how we have two negative signs directly next to each other. Two negatives can be written with one positive. This is also something that you need to remember. Two negatives are the same as a plus sign. So you could say negative two plus four instead of minus negative four. It's the same thing. Negative two plus four is the same as negative two minus negative four. So if we start 
at negative 2. And since we're adding 4, that means we need to go to the right 4 units. I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4 units to the right. And we finish at positive 2. So you could say negative 2 plus 4 is equal to positive 2. Or you could say negative 2 minus negative 4 is also equal to positive 2. So I hope this video gave you a better idea of adding and subtracting negative numbers. In my next video, I'm going to go over multiplying and dividing uh, negative numbers. So stay tuned. Uh, I hope you're enjoying these, and I will see you in my next one.